Hello dear students, welcome back to Science Wide. Today we are going to solve the book exercise of chapter 8 that is skeletal and nervous system. Hope so you have seen the chapter explanation video. Now here the first is get ready exercise. In get ready exercise, Aparna is making a picture card to show the organ of our body Help her in completing the card. First picture is of stomach. So this organ is stomach. Organ system. The organ system of stomach is digestive system. And the function of this organ system and the organ is to digest food or digestion of food. Second picture which Arhana is having is of brain. So this organ is brain. Organ system is nervous system and the function of this organ and the organ system is to control the overall functioning of the body or the control and coordination of overall functioning of the body. Now see the third picture what Arana is having is of organ kidney. Organ system is excretory system. Function of this organ system is filtration of blood. This is organ excretory organ of the body kidney. Okay. And the organ system is excretory system. Function of this organ system is or the function of the organ is filtration of blood. The fourth picture what Arana is having is of organ lungs. This is lungs. The organ system is respiratory system. The function of respiratory system or the function of Lungs is breathing process. Practice time 1. Who am I? Bacho, in this practice time, few sentences are given over here. We have to identify what is it. That is why the name is given, who am I? The first sentence is, I can hold two or more bones together. I can hold two or more bones together. The answer is ligament. Ligament holds two or more bones together. Second question is, I allow sight movement sideways, forward and backward. So, it is pivate joint. Third is, I can help to attach the two vertebrae of spine. Gliding joint. Gliding joint help to attach two vertebrae of the spine. Fourth, I help to attach your skull with your backbone. It is pivate joint. Fifth, I help to move your arm and leg in all the directions. It is ball and socket joint which is present in your hips and shoulder. So, ball and socket joint allows the movement of our arm and leg in all the direction. Practice time 2. Name the following. We have to name the following organ. It controls the ability to think and learn. Remember this, thinking and learning is the part of cerebrum. Second, it joins the brain to spinal cord. Joins the brain to spinal cord. It is medulla. It carries signal from sense organ to brain. Kaha se? Sense organ to brain. It is sensory nerves. Fourth, it carries both message to brain and order from the brain. It is mixed nerve. Practice time 3. Match the following. Cornea. Cornea is the circular transparent area in front of eye. Cornea is the circular 
transparent area in front of eye. Pupil. Pupil is the black spot in the eye. Pupil is the black spot in the eye. Next is Corcula. It is transforms sound into nerve signals. It transforms sound into nerve signals. Next is eardrum. Ear separates the outer ear from the middle ear. Pinna. Pinna is the outer visible part of the ear. Hope so this is clear to you all. Exercise. A. Tick the correct answer. Which of the following is not a function of skeleton? In this question, we have to tick which is not the function of the skeletal system. So, it controls all other body system. The correct answer is it controls all the other body system. This is not the function of the skeletal system. Second question. Which of these bones belong to forelimb? Humor, radius and ulna. Which of these joints help in movement of head sidewise, upward and downward? Which movement? Movement of the head sidewise, upward and downward. It is pyuate joint. Which of these are three main part of brain? The three main part of the brain. It is cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla. So the correct answer is cerebrum, cerebellum and medulla. Which of the following muscle are under our control? It is voluntary muscles. Write T for true and F for false. Cerebellum is responsible for Thinking, learning and remembering. Wrong. Cerebrum is responsible for it. Motor nerves. Motor nerves carry message from brain and spinal cord to muscles and gland. This means brain and spinal cord se message kaha leke ja rahi hai? muscles and gland. The si nerves? Motor nerves. So it is true. Vitamin A is important for strong and healthy bones. Wrong. Vitamin D and calcium is important for healthy bones and muscles. Fourth, ligament is a tissue that joins muscle to bone. Yes, it is true. C. Fill in the blanks. The framework of bone is called, the framework of bone is called skeleton or skeletal. Second, dash bone is the only bone of skull which can move. The movable bone in the skull is the lower jaw. Dash is a tissue present between two vertebrae. It is cartilage. The dash in the brain control and coordinates our voluntary movement. It is cerebellum. Cerebellum in the brain Controls and coordinates are voluntary movement. Fifth, dash is the nerve that carries signal from sense organ to spinal cord and brain. Means, kaun si aasi nerve hai jo sense organ se spinal cord or brain tak signals leke jati hai? It is sensory nerve. Very short answer questions. First, who am I? We have to identify with the help of sentence that which organ or which part of the body or which part of the skeletal system they are talking about. First, my movement in skeletal system help you to speak. It is lower jaw. B. I am the small bone of your backbone. It is vertebra. It is a butterfly shaped bone. C. I help to join the skull to the backbone. Join the skull to the backbone. It is pyruvate joint. I am the smallest bone of the human body. It is stapes. 
I am the longest bone in the human body. It is femur and it is present in thigh. Staples is present in ear. It is the smallest bone. F. My action are controlled by spinal cord alone. It is reflex action. Second, complete the pair. A. Skull brain. It means skull protects the brain. Then backbone protects the spinal cord. Humerus is, second question, humerus is present in forelimb. Where is femur present? Femur is present in hind limb. C. Ball and socket joint. Ball and socket joint is there in shoulder. Where is hing joint then? Hing joint is in elbow. Involuntary muscles. Involuntary muscles are present in stomach. Then cardiac muscles are present in voluntary muscles. And now means cardiac muscles is the example of voluntary muscles. See backbone has 33 bones. How many ribs are there? 12 pair of ribs are there. Fun activity. Rearrange the letters and find out the name of these joints. The first joint by the picture also you can say it is hind joint. The second joint after rearranging these words and looking to the picture this joint is pivot joint. Third it is very easy this is the shoulder joint and the joint present in the shoulder is ball and socket joint. Fourth picture is of the ankle joint. The joint present in the ankle is gliding joint. And by rearranging this word, you are confirmed that this joint is the gliding joint. Hope so. This video was very interesting for you all. Keep watching.